well it doesn't look like much right now this was part of the cloaca maxima which was the roman sewer system now today um, we don't think of ancient people as being sort of very hygienic but of all the ancient people the romans were probably one of the more hygienic um, they had running water to many houses they had aqueducts that delivered water from far away to every one of their cities and they had sewer systems like this one the cloaca maxima which were about as advanced as anything which uh, occurred until the 1800s and so uh, it's important to keep in mind that among everything else the romans were great engineers and that they used that engineering prowess for some rather practical endeavors, in particular for sewage. Right now, we are within the Pantheon, one of the most famous architectural structures in the city of Rome. Today, a Catholic church. The building was built by Marcus Agrippa, the friend of Augustus and the commander during the Battle of Actium in 31 BC, which won Augustus the empire. Now, the church was called the Pantheon because originally it was meant to be for the worship of every one of the Greek and Roman gods, hence the entire Pantheon, hence the name of the building. Today it's no longer a pagan temple and hasn't been since the period of the late Roman Empire. Today it is a church um, and it's open to the public many of the time when mass is not going on and uh, is very, very beautiful. The most impressive architectural feature is the ceiling, which is one of the most amazing domes ever constructed. Uh, there is a large hole in the center to let sunlight in, and also rain. As a result, the floor is specifically designed so that um, it's not flat. In fact, it alternates between being convex and concave to help channel the water towards the drainage system, which helps remove it from the building after a storm.